Hey guys, I am back with the all new DaVinci Resolve tutorial. In this tutorial, we will create an awesome looking title animation which is very easy to create inside of DaVinci Resolve without using any third party plugins. I am Vikas from Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so here we are in the Vinci Resolve 17 edit page and before we get started, we have to do some basic setting as usual. But let me tell you, if you are new on this channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification for more interesting videos and also hit the like button for this video. And now let's jump into the setting and let's do some basic setting. So click on this setting button in the corner and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080. You can go with 4K as well. Now we have to select a frame rate. So in this case, I am using this 30 frame per second, but you can select any frame rate that you like. You can select 60 frame per second for smooth animation or 24 frame per second for cinematic, but I'm using 30 frame per second. Now you can click on save. After that, I'm going to create this animation inside of this fusion page. So we have to take a new fusion composition, which is very important. So this is the media pool window. You can click on this media pool button to bring out this window and then right click on this media pool window and click on new fusion composition. You can call it anything. Now we have to set the duration of this composition, maybe three seconds long, which is good enough for one text frame rate 30 and click on create. Now let's drag and drop this fusion composition on this timeline just like that and then you can go to the fusion page. And here we have the media out so let's drag this media out to the side for now and for this animation we need only one viewer so click on this single viewer first and after that we need an image for this project so we have to import an image. So just go to the media pool right click on this media pool window and click on import media and here we have to select any image or video file so i'm using this image that i have downloaded from unsplash.com and i will give you a link in the description for this image so you can download this image for practice and now you can click on open and here we have the image let's drag and drop on this flow window close this media pool and now we have to rename this media node so hit f2 on the keyboard to rename or you can also right click on this media in node and click on rename i'm going to call it image now let's drag and drop this image node to the viewer and now we have to fit this image according to the project size because currently we have 6000 and 4000 proportions so what we have to do just select this image add a transform node and this transform is going to be the controller of this image so hit f2 to rename and i'm going to call it image controller hit ok let's drag and drop to the viewer and now we have to create a mat to fit this image according to the project size so here we have the background node let's drag and drop on this flow window and I'm going to use this background as a mat. So hit F2 on the keyboard to rename. Let's call it mat. And now we have to merge these nodes. So this is the merge node. Let's drag and drop on this uh, flow window. And inside of this merge, we have four different points. The yellow point is for background. Green is for foreground. And this is the output. And this is the effect mask, as you all know. And now we have to connect this mat as a background and this output as a foreground so connect this yellow point with this mat and green point with this uh, image controller output and then just drag and drop this merge one to the viewer and now we have the 1920 by 1080 proportion you can click on fit button after that select this image controller and you can decrease the size and fit this image according to the project size all right and now we have to animate this image so select this merge one, add a transform node and this time this transform is going to be the animation. So hit F2 and now I'm going to call it animation underscore one. Just go to the end of this animation and I'm going to animate the size. So we have to right click on this size parameter and go to very first frame of this animation. Let's increase the size a little bit. So I'm going to set the value maybe 1.15. All right. And we will get this type of scale animation. As you can see. 
and now we have to convert this image into a dual tone color image so it's very simple select the main output add a color corrector node with that hit f2 you can call it cc for color corrector in the sort form and now you can drag and drop to the viewer go to the inspector window and here we have the rgb channel so i'm gonna change this to red and leave the red setting as it is go to green and here we have the gain so let's down the gain value for the green channel go to the blue channel and let's down the gain value for the blue channel and now we will get this type of dual tone output after that we have to create a color bar animation so we have to take a new background node so this is the background node let's drag and drop on this flow window hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and i'm going to call it color hit enter after that we have to select the red color because i'm using this red color so let's select the red color or you can also pick the screen color and after that we have to merge this color with the main output so let's connect the output of this color with this main output and we will get this new merge this is the another way to connect these node and now let's drag and drop this merge node to the viewer after that select this color node and let's attach a rectangular mask with this so this is the rectangle mask click on this and now we have to animate the width and height of this rectangle so this is the width let's set it to 1 and we have to animate the height value so set the height value 1 and go to on frame number 75 which is equal to two and a half second right click on height click on animate and go to on frame number 15 which is equal to half a second according to 30 frame per second let's set the height value and set it 0 and we will get this type of animation as you can see now let's go to spline window and let's make this animation smoother so hit f4 on the keyboard to full screen and here we have the rectangle one so check this rectangle click on fit highlight both the keyframes hit s to smooth or you can also click on this smooth button set the cti at very beginning of this animation hold this handle and just drag it like this and now close this spline window and let's take a look all right and now we have to blend this color with the background so select this merge tool and here we have the blend option now let's decrease the blend value and set the value something around 0.2 and now we will get this type of effect which is looking very nice after that let's create a text over here so let's take a new text node let's attach the output of the text with the merge to and we will get this new merge just drag and drop to the viewer select the text and type whatever you want to type and for the font style i'm using a bold font style so for the first text i'm going to use this uh, gotham ultra which is looking like this let's increase the size and set the value something around 0.9 and we have to set the text in the center so just right click on this preview window go to guide and turn on the guide and let's set the text in the center just like this all right and now select the merge 3 the main output and go to inspector window here we have the operator and apply mode so just go to the blending mode which is called apply mode in the fusion and here we have the soft light select this option and now we will get this type of output after that we have to add drop shadow effect so just select the text hit ctrl plus a space bar for search box and search for drop shadow all right and now let's increase the shadow strength so i'm going to set the value 0.6 and we will get this type of output as you can see now we have to animate the text so select the text node and go to the frame number 75 
which is equal to two and a half second according to 30 frame per second right click on tracking click on animate and go to on frame number 15 which is equal to half a second let's increase the tracking amount something like this maybe 1.5 or 1.4 and we will get this type of output but this animation is linear right now so we have to make it smoother let's go to spline window hit f4 to full screen and for this time let's uncheck the rectangle one and check the text character spacing only click on fit highlight both the keyframes hit s to smooth set the cti at very beginning hold this handle and set the handle like this and create nice and simple smooth curve close this spline window and you can take a look all right so it's looking nice after that we have to create our main text so let's attach one more text connect the output of this text with the main output and we will get the new merge just drag and drop to the viewer select the text and type same thing in this text box and for this one we have to select the same font style so i'm going to use the gotham or you can use any different font style that you like but i'm using the gotham so here we have the gotham black font style let's increase the size a little bit so i'm going to set the value something around 0.22 and again we have to set the text in the center just like this and now you can click on fit button after that we have to animate the text so select the second text node right click on this styled text add a follower effect on it go to the modifier tab increase the delay value so i'm going to set the value something around two and go to the text and here we have the size go to on frame number 45 which is equal to one and a half second right click on size click on animate now let's set the exact value which is 0.22 all right and go to on frame number 15 which is equal to half a second now let's set the size zero and we will get this type of very interesting text animation and now we have to make it smoother again let's go to spline window hit f4 this time we have to check the second text only so uncheck the text one click on fit button select both the keyframes hit s to smooth hold this handle create a nice smooth curve just like this now you can close this blind window and we will get this type of very interesting animation all right now we have to add one more drop shadow effect so select the main text Hit Ctrl plus a spacebar for search box and search for fresh new drop shadow effect. Let's add it. Select the drop shadow, which is the second drop shadow. And here we have to decrease the shadow strength. So I'm going to set the value 0.3 maybe. Perfect. And finally, we have to add one more color corrector node. So select the main output, add a CC color corrector and drag this to the viewer and now you can control the color saturation and color by the help of this color corrector so this is the lift value let's down the lift and set the value maybe negative 0.15 all right it's looking perfect now you can switch the color by changing the hue value so you can set any color for this and now we have to connect the media out with the final output just like this and then you can go to the edit page now let's take a look so click on this loop button hit ctrl f to full screen and let's have a look all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial i hope you guys like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification for more interesting videos also hit the like button for this video my name is vikash and i will see you in the next one till then bye bye